All right, L'Hopital rules in order. And the reason that the, the, the top, as you go towards one from the right side, would go towards minus infinity, and the bottom also goes towards minus infinity. So let, let's do our derivative, and that's limit as x goes towards 1 from the right. The derivative of the top is going to be 1 over x cubed minus 1. The derivative of x cubed is going to be 3x squared. Let's do the bottom. The derivative of that thing is going to be 1 over x8 minus 1. So I'm going to put that on top. And then uh, you're going to get 8x to the 7. Boy, that looks complicated. Let's keep rewriting it. I'm going to pull a 3 out and then 8 out. Limit. X goes to 1 from the right. And let's be very careful here. You get X8 minus 1. I'm going to take this and this, call it X5. And X5 times this is X8 minus X5. Let's take a look at that. Top goes towards zero, bottom goes towards zero. Let's do L'Hopital's rule again. That's going to be 8x7. On bottom, what do you get? 8x7 minus 5x4. Well, I think I could do that limit. That's 3 eighths. If x goes towards 1, the top goes towards 8, and the bottom goes towards 8 minus 5, which is 3. 3 eighths times 8 thirds is the number 1. Thank you.